have to go die so fast and in cold water. Hello, we are Tavon and David from TED Adventures. In today's video, we are taking you along with us to explore Big Bend National Park in Texas. This is a map of Big Bend National Park. We entered Big Bend National Park via the Persimmon Gap Visitor Center entrance. From this entrance, we have over an hour of driving to get to the other side of the park to our campground, which is outside the park. Jump into the car on a Friday night, I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town, i never seen... Our next stop is the Panther Junction Visitor Center, which is the main visitor center of the park. Sky's so blue, we don't have a plan in the night is young, it doesn't... On the left, we can see buildings and cars. It must be where we are going. Straight ahead is the Chisos Mountains. We made it to the Panther Junction Visitor Center. plan was to go to the famous Santa Elena Canyon. You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours and you take me The road we are driving on is called Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive. And you take me It was here at Mule Ears Viewpoint that we changed our mind about going to the canyon for today. We will arrive at the canyon too late in the day. Also, we don't want to miss the sunset. We are turning around. We really like the color of the mountain in front of us. It has a pretty green color. Turning right onto Satal Vista. We made it just in time for the sunset. The temperature got cooler in the evening, which is very typical of desert weather. Hot during the day and cold at night. This time we are really making our way to the Santa Elena Canyon. The sign says we have eight more miles to go until we make it to the canyon. Over there is where we are headed. We made a quick stop at the canyon overlook.
continuing on to get closer to the canyon. Parking looks full. We lucked out to find a spot. Making our way to the canyon. The Santa Elena Trail is 1.6 miles round trip with 80 feet of elevation gain. This trail enters between the walls of the spectacular Santa Elena Canyon and ends where the cliffs meet the Rio Grande. The Rio Grande River runs through the whole park and acts as a border between the United States and Mexico. To get to the trail, you will have to cross the Terlingua Creek. This creek is not always passable if the water level is too high. We went back to our RV to get our water shoes. We saw some people made the decision not to cross or to go further. We are going to cross and to check out the canyon since we don't know when we will get to come back here to Big Bend National Park again. Ready to cross. Ooh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. Well, it's cold. That's the... Uh, this is the Terlingua. Terlingua. Oh, so River. over there, over there is Mexico. Yeah. Right there. The canyon is so beautiful. One more cross to go. Man, the water's cold. Oh. oh my goodness. It hurts. Oh, oh that hurts my feet. Yes. I agree. The, cold, the trick oh, is man. how do I get up here? Oh man. Going up. The sign says it is 80 feet up. It looks taller than 80 feet. Wow, look at that. I find that I'm always having to make amends for shortcomings. Trying to make my way knocking on heaven. Puffing and puffing. That's a lot of puff. And there's still a little more. When it said 80 feet of elevation. I was going to say, don't worry, there's no way that's all at once. It's all at once. <laughs> it's all at once. <laughs> really? Still more. There's still more. <laughs> so I guess we're going to be looking down on the canyon. Yeah. Elevation, feeling it. <sighs> That's where we were. Continuing on. Tavon's turn to lead. David's turn to lead. Going down. Vegetation looks different. Starting to see grass. We thought we were at the end of the trail, but there is still more to go.
very nice young gentleman took a video of us. Heading back. As we come up in elevation, the air feels warmer. It's a lot cooler down there. Yeah, right here it's like a thermal climb. Isn't that interesting, huh? Yeah, huh? <clears throat> and it, it keeps getting warmer. It's a little easier going down. Oh, yeah? But uh, my legs are not happy with me. <laughs> are you saying that you're getting old? Well, I just haven't... Uh, done strenuous activity in a while and I'm feeling it. Okay. I see. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I'll wait for your pain. <laughs> what the pain? Oh, the ache. Yeah, oh. I'm not looking forward to it. Okay. Are you ready? Right. Here it come. Oh. oh, oh, it's cold. It hurts. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. oh, it hurts. I don't know why people die so fast when in cold water. Oh, okay, honey. I'm running. As we were driving away, we were still in awe of the spectacular wall. Pulling into Castellon Historic District. The buildings at Castellon are a remnant of Big Ben's pioneer and military history. the store where you can buy cold drinks. Our next stop is Chissos Basin. When we first drove up Chissos Basin or mountains, the sun was too bright and blinding. After the sun went behind the mountains, we drove back down to redo the drive. We are so glad we did. Wow, it is so beautiful the way the sun is hitting the mountains. Over there is Chissos Basin Campground. Trailers over 20 feet and RVs over 24 feet are not recommended due to the narrow winding road to the basin and the small campsites at this campground. This is the lodge area. We are heading toward the Window View Trail. Wow, look at the color. 
so beautiful. We are heading toward the Rio Grande village. Our RV is 10 feet tall. Hope we can make it through the tunnel. Made it. This is it, the Rio Grande village. We were expecting something bigger. Driving past the Rio Grande village RV campground. This campground has full hookups. This is the Rio Grande River. Over there is Mexico. This is the closest we have ever been to Mexico. Lots of big trees. Rio Grande Village Campground. Making our way to Boquillas Canyon Overlook. It was here that we stopped to check out handmade items that are laid out. If you see anything you like, you put money in the cans. It is an honor system. We did not buy anything because we tried to have less stuff in the RV. We put money in each can to help out our next door neighbor. We made it to the end of the road, which is where the Boquillas Canyon Trail starts. We did not hike the trail because it was too hot. Sunset at the campground. We were at a different campground outside Big Bend National Park during our last night in the area. When it got dark, we heard music from a nearby area. We went to check it out. This was the first time ever we found ourselves at an outdoor Western music gathering. Such a neat experience. Across the street is a general store. Firewood here is very expensive because we are in a desert. Not many trees. Bye, dinosaur. Goodbye for now to Big Bend National Park and the town of Terlingua, Texas. Until next time.